Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my videos please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates In this video I want to discuss about ethernet frame format ethernet comes in the lan technology am i right so ethernet has a standard as ieee 802.3 standard okay so this is the standard we have used for the ethernet okay and remember one thing each protocol or each technology ieee will give a proper standard once it verifies everything and everything is correct it will give a standard and for ethernet they have given a standard called 802.3 standard okay now we will discuss what is the frame format for the ethernet we have a preamble we have the start of the frame or we call it as start frame delimiter and we have the destination address we have the source address we have the length of the frame and we have the actual data what we want to send and then you have the crc which we will call it as cyclic redundancy check for the error detection so this is the frame format of the ethernet let me discuss how many bytes each one will occupy okay the preamble will occupy everything i will mention in terms of bytes so you don't get confused so preamble will occupy 7 bytes and start of the frame delimiter will occupy 1 bytes and the destination address as it is a mac address this destination address is a mac address you can ask me sir why it is a mac address because you are discussing about the ethernet ethernet works in the data link layer so the data link layer we have the mac address or i can say that it is a physical address whose size is 48 bit so 48 bits means it will occupy 6 bytes and even the source mac address is also 6 bytes and the length of the packet is 2 bytes so total length of the packet it will say that it is a 2 bytes and data is minimum 46 bytes to 1500 bytes you will have and the crc is a 4 byte crc cyclic redundancy check okay so now let me discuss each one in detail why we need a preamble why we need a start frame delimiter and destination address source address everything and remember one point these two the preamble and the start frame delimiter will be added by the physical layer am i right or wrong so preamble and the start frame delimiter will be actually added by the physical layer and this is the actual ethernet frame format from the data link layer point of view okay are you able to understand it or not so preamble you can ask me sir it is a 7 byte information what it actually consists of it consists of 1010 so on up to 7 bytes 7 bytes is how much 7 into 8 which is 56 101010 like the 28 times it will come so you have totally 56 bits of preamble will be there and coming to the sfd the sfd has 101010111 because it is a 8 bit information one byte is how much 8 bit so it has a pattern of 101010111 now you can ask me what is the use of preamble and what is the use of start frame delimiter now the preamble will be useful for you to synchronize the sender and receiver okay are you able to understand because whenever you are transferring the data you need to synchronize the sender and receiver so the preamble will be useful for synchronization purpose and sfd or even you can call it as start frame delimiter we have to say that the frame is starting is it clear when i have discussed about the what you called uh, 
in ethernet framing yeah framing we have discussed am i right in the framing i have discussed that the framing can be done in two ways am i right or wrong i have discussed that we can have a fixed size framing and variable size framing am i right or wrong in the variable size we can have the variable length frames and we can have the end delimiter am i right and each frame you should know the boundaries how you will come to know the boundaries the start frame delimiter and the end delimiter is there then you will get the boundaries means starting and ending of that one so when it comes to the fixed framing they have the fixed size even i have discussed what is the drawback of the fixed size meaning is that suppose the fixed size is 100 bits you need to send a frame but you have only 10 bits of information then what you have to do you have to add another 90 dummy bits is it clear to make it as 100 bits frame so that is the drawback of fixed size framing so then people have gone for the variable size frames and in the variable size also we have two techniques one is that variable length and another one is the end delimiter so you will have the start frame delimiter and you have the length what is the use of this length so if you see that if i say the length and the starting of the frame if i say the starting of the frame this is the starting of the frame and if i send what is the length of the frame obviously i can get the end also am i right if i say starting and length is this much i can easily find out what is the end so i got the boundaries of the frame am i right but what is the problem of the length the problem of the length if it is modified or because of errors if the length of the frame is modified then you will get the problem so length of the frame will be used in the ethernet and the end delimiter means you will have the start frame delimiter and also you have the end delimiter am i right so you know the starting and the ending the start frame delimiter will tell us the starting of the frame and the end delimiter will tell us the ending of the frame. Then easily you can find the boundaries. Am I right? So the length will be used in the Ethernet and the end delimiter will be used in the token ring. Okay. So that is about the preamble and the start frame delimiter. And now let me discuss what is the destination MAC address. The destination MAC address to whom you want to send it. Okay. Are you able to understand? And now coming to the MAC address, it can be unicast address means you are sending to a single destination or you are doing the multicasting to a group of nodes you are sending or you are doing the broadcasting. Is it clear? So the destination MAC address can be a unicast address to a particular node you are sending or it can be a multicast address to a group of people you are sending or it can be a broadcast to everyone you are sending. Then you can ask me, sir, if it is a unicast address, what it will be there? If it is a multicast address, what will be there? In the broadcast address, what it will be there? Am I right? So let me discuss about them in detail so that you will understand the concepts in better way now the destination address is a 48 bit information so that's why we represent it in 6 bytes so the 6 bytes will be represented in hexadecimal dotted representation so you will have dotted like how many bytes are the 6 bytes are there so one byte dot another byte dot another byte dot another byte like that you will represent in the dotted hexadecimal representation am i right now in the hexadecimal you will have four bits to represent am i right or wrong because you will have 0 to 15 so to represent one hexadecimal number you need four bits so one four bit another four bit you will represent in hexadecimal because one byte will consist of eight bits so in this eight bits one bit means first four bits will be one hexadecimal another four bits will be another hexadecimal is it clear so like that you have hexadecimal dotted representation or we can say the dotted hexadecimal representation okay now what will be the unicast address now you have how many bytes will be there 
six bytes will be there. Am I right? Now, in the six bytes, the first byte will be there. Am I right? This is the first byte, this is the second byte, this is the third byte, fourth byte like that you have up to six bytes. Am I right or wrong? Now, in the first byte, you will have the eight bits. Am I right or wrong? You will have totally this is five. You have eight bits are there. Now, if it is a unicast address, the LSB, this is my LSB, am I right? If this first byte of and in the LSB of the first byte, if you have a zero, then it is a unicast address in the physical layer, not physical layer, in the physical address. Are you able to understand? In the physical address, if you want to do the unicasting, the first byte LSB bit should be zero. That's what you have to write zero in the LSB of the first byte. Then we can say that it is a unicast address. You are sending to a single destination. Now what is the multicast? Okay, in the multicast, similarly again, the first byte will be there. In the first byte, you have eight bits, three, six, eight bits are there. The LSB bit, if it is one, then it is the multicast. If it is zero, it is a unicast. If it is a one, it is a multicast. Okay, then we can say that it need to send to a group of people. Now, when it comes to the broadcast, everything is in the ones. Okay, all the bits are like all the 48 bits. If I write it as ones only, then I will get the broadcast address. So, all the ones means if I have four ones, which is nothing but 15. So, in hexadecimal, I have to represent as F. Am I right or wrong? I'm as, as I am saying that it is represented as dotted hexadecimal representation. So, I said that all the 48 bits should be ones. So, this is one byte. So, one byte will have two hexadecimals. So, four ones and four ones. If it is four ones, it is 15. You can check it. So, 15 in hexadecimal is F. So, all Fs you will have in the broadcast address. If you have all the 48 bits as ones or it consists of Fs, then I can say that it is a broadcast address. Okay. So, I hope you have understood how to find whether it is a unicast address or a multicast address or broadcast address by seeing the destination address. Okay. And similarly, the source will keep its own address at the this one means which is a MAC address. Now, coming to the length of the frame, it will tell the total length of the frame including the data and the CRC. Now, you have the data the minimum size of the frame should be 46 bytes and maximum is 1500 bytes. Now you can ask me, sir, why we should have the minimum? Why it is so that because it is an Ethernet and it uses the access control mechanism as CSMA by CD. In the next video, I will discuss about it. Okay. Already I you know that what is CSMA by CD I have discussed. When it comes to Ethernet, it uses the CSMA by CD technology, which is an access control mechanism, which will come in the random access mechanisms. Means the MAC protocols are classified into three types. One is random access, controlled and channelization mechanisms. So in the random, we will have the CSMA by CD, which is a collision detection and CSMA is carrier sense multiple access. So, if you come to know that about the CSMA by CD, then you can easily say that the transmission delay should be at least 2 into propagation delay to know that the collision is happened because of that frame. Okay, so transmission delay, I can write it as L by B into D into V. So, you should have the minimum length of this frame then only you can detect the collision. So, minimum size of the frame is, that's why it is 46 bytes. 
data I am talking. This is the data you should keep it as 46 bytes and the maximum is 1500 bytes you can keep it. Okay. And the CRC is 32 bit CRC you are using means that that polynomial. Am I right? I think I have discussed about the CRC in detail with few examples also. Each sender and receiver will agree for a polynomial which will be useful for the division. So, it is a 32 bit polynomial okay, or the division. I hope you have understood the Ethernet frame format in detail. In the next video, I will discuss about Ethernet and what are its disadvantages. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you understand all the concepts what I have discussed in this video. If you still have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my video, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button in for the regular updates. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.